You better recall, Tommy. You got excited about something. Whoa! What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. And today, me and my guy, Tommy, are back out at a flea market that we have notoriously scored at every single time we have visited, and today is no different. In fact, we actually find a retro game relic of the past, something that I have never seen before ever in my life, and I am so pumped that we picked it up. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see that pickup. Uh, but before we get into it, I want to thank Native for sponsoring this video. So something you guys might not know about me is that I am a creature of habit. Whenever I find something that I like, I stick to it. So whenever I'm hunting down those nostalgic retro pieces, I need a deodorant that keeps me fresh. Chasing kids and keeping up with the rest of my schedule means I can't stop to reapply throughout the day. I ain't got time for that. Well, Native Deodorant has 24-hour odor protection, and it works. It goes on smooth, dries quickly, and keeps up with my schedule. It's aluminum and paraben-free and vegan and cruelty-free. They even offer a plastic-free version using the same formula, but with more sustainable packaging. Added bonus, Native actually uses words that I can pronounce, like coconut oil and shea butter. There is a scent option for all preferences, and this stuff is simple and effective. My favorite is charcoal because it has that nice, rugged smell. They also have limited edition scents, and with my wife being an avid baker, she cannot wait to try out the cupcake-inspired collection baked by Melissa. Now, Native isn't just deodorants. They also offer amazing body washes and toothpaste. Normally, three individual deodorants run $39, but you can use my link and code RETROREC to get three for $26. That's over 33% off savings. You can also use my code to get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Again, I want to thank Native for sponsoring this video. Let's get into it. All right, we're back at the flea market. Small town shoppies with TV. Look at that shirt. Oh my goodness. Remember when MTV played music? Like if MTV never stopped playing music, we would have cured everything by now. <laughs> yeah, boy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Get it, Santa. Tommy thought he was the uh, an actual human being. I like, mean, he's moving all kind of funny. But the Elvis hit. All right, so it has been, how, how long has it been since we've been here? Maybe four months, five months? Yeah, seven months. So let's see if there's some new stuff. You never know. A lot of times it can be the same stuff that's been here forever. Sometimes there's a gym. MREs, bro. We got MREs. Mills ready to eat. Oh. It's that military food. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm good. We used, uh, we used to take the little like uh, stoves and take like the rocks out, put them in little soda bottles and make tiny little explosive devices. That's pretty good. Here's some games, 25% off. I'm pretty sure these are the same games that have been here for a long time. Six bucks, Finding Nemo. I feel like this was like six bucks last time. Yep, these will be here for a long time, y'all. Jeopardy, the one on the Wii U is worth something. This one, I don't believe is worth anything at all. Those games are gonna be there till the end of the world happens. They will be there a long time. A little, little Barbie set, the Pioneer Woman Barbie, 2018. That's like. Is this like Reed Drummond, the pioneer, like I, actual, like the actual, like food net? It is Reed Drummond, the Food Network. Oh chip. wow, man! Everyone's got a partnership now. It's actually a pretty sweet little Mickey Sorcerer's Apprentice mug. You need a new mug? Oh, that is pretty dope, actually. I actually Ooh, really like this, that. This one over here too. It's got a whole little scene going on. Oh wow, that's Pluto actually sleeper. really cool. It looks I like this that. is custom made though, because it looks like. Well, no, I guess it's. It is. It is. It looks like. It something. looks like somebody would make it at home, but it's actually branded. You see, this is why I love flea markets. You never know what you're gonna get. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that just that's just doubled up with the with the profanities. <laughs> oh my, we gotta get out of here. No. These seasonings are profane. And. Uh, you know, God's little devotional book right oh there. Oh <laughs> my gosh, this is the same booth. It's like, I don't know, man, if y'all feel convicted, just read this, but man, I want my, I want my, my burgers to taste well seasoned. Oh, some cards, some cards. That's a hockey. 
Yeah, see, I think, I literally think the last time I was here, I was like, oh, the Michael Jordan card. Nope, I always think that's the Michael Jordan card, but it's not. Oh yeah, I remember that competition. Yeah. This just ends up being the same exact episode. <laughs> we find the same things. People are just like, no, we've already seen this. <gasps> Uh-oh, what is it? I don't know, I just saw a robot, dude. <laughs> I don't know, I saw Ultimate Robot Kit and got excited. Ultimate Robot Kit, five amazing robots. Who's David Eckhold? If I had a dollar for every time I've seen the Titanic VHS, I'd be a extremely wealthy man. Is it sealed? Sealed! You know, graded graded VHS is a thing now. Like, very, a very well, then, popular. Well then, gotta get this sealed train video. Oh, definitely a one of one if you get that graded. I mean, it's just like somebody just sat on this train and filmed it. <laughs> and then it's like, here's a first person view of this train ride. <laughs> 50% off Christmas sale in this booth, y'all. Dude, tell me, I didn't tell you, you haven't seen this episode yet. I went to a flea market and the entire booth was Christmas themed, but not like Christmas items, like Christmas Rugrats VHS. And then like Jingle All The Way, and then like uh, a Christmas toy. I was like, what? So just like Christmas things people actually want. Yeah, <laughs> actual Christmas <laughs> items that people desire, not these these things. The knickknacks. Dude, did they have the uh, Chipmunks Christmas album? I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. I bet it would have been like the Christmas, the Christmas vinyl or something of the, or of, of, of Alvin or Chipmunks. Last time we came here, it was the dollar flea market. We found so much for a dollar. Is it more profanity? It's those Christmas tree cakes, man. Oh my God. That's what, that's what they're called, right? Christmas tree cakes? I guess. Or something? Little I think they have those in the ice cream now. Oh, he's cool. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, Gilbert. You've got mail. It's a candy dispenser. Okay, that's actually sweet. I love that. How much is he? Oh, dude. Heck yeah. That's so good. What year What year do you think he is? Oh. I'm going to guess... 91? I'm going to guess 94. I actually don't see a date. Gilbert, copyright. It doesn't have a date. That's weird. Well, we're getting that. That's, that's cool. For six bucks. Yeah, you can't take yeah. six dollars, dude. Yeah, we found a bunch of stuff here last time for a buck each. One dollar. Hey, games. We got games. Sealed? Oh my god. These are sealed games. We got sealed games at the flea market. Dude, should I get this? For a PS5? What is that? It's a This is uh, a weird booth. It's a stand for your PS5 that also charges your controller and you can put your games in. I think that's new too. Ten dollars. I know. We just found. We just found oh my sealed. Gosh. We just found sealed games. Is this a generic? The flea market. What? This is basically like an Elgato HD 60s, but, oh, yeah, but it's like a but it's a one? knockoff version. Yeah. So if you're trying to start a streaming thing, dude, you can start playing Morrowind, dude. Well, look at look at. I'm interested. Look at this. This is actually looks pretty sweet. That's pretty dope. All right, gonna pick up one of the games, but here are some GI Joe figures. Oh wait, definitely definitely newer GI Joe classified series and then we got the infinity <laughs> saga look at iron man it's cool old barbie doll case i actually have a, trans a transformers one i got recently i've got a couple of the turtle ones but that's an old barbie one la loopsie la 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 loopsie dolls is that like the new uh rats dolls Pretty sweet Scooby Doo plush. Ten bucks though. I'm good. I'm good on that. Ooh, Tommy. Look at that guy. Oh, that is. Is that for like RC? Cars? Oh yeah. It looks like it's for like Hot Wheels or something. It is Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Uh, Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Like yeah, Hot Wheels track thing. That's cool. Uh oh, what'd you get, man? Check it out, dude. Oh, oh Mist. Dude, I loved Mist back but in the day. This is for Windows 3.1. Oh wow! Okay, that's old okay. school, man. Oh yeah, I played Mist a ton back in the day. Now, you what, was your, the... what was your what was your favorite favorite computer game back in the day? Well, it depends on how far back in the day. Well, we're going. I say that I'm kind of locked into like edutainment, like the like kids. Oregon Trail. Well, I was thinking like Putt Putt. You ever played Putt Putt? No, but we had Touch Typing. That was okay. I feel, that like, had, I feel like I feel like I heard Typing. That. It's kind of like Mavis Beacons or whatever. My favorite computer game though was Mega Race. Nobody ever talks about it. Such a good And you know those greatest hits of all. Oh. Not all time, not of the 90s, just all. <laughs> just the greatest hits of all. Dude, card crazy. Uh, Remember these like old computer games they'd have at Walmart for like $10 and they'd just have like 5 million games yes. at one. Here's an old Lego case, Tommy. It's actually really cool. Huge Lego case. It's it's old looking. 
<gasps> Look at the old sticker. I like that. Oh, wow. How old it's is Christopher this? Christopher Reeves, dude. This is like 70s. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad thing to get for oh, my son. Oh, wow. This is like for kids that don't hurt themselves, man. This is like oh. the... My, my, my kiddo is really into Legos right now. Got a couple movies down here. We got Breach, Inception, Green Hornet. Nothing of interest. I think this is where we found the robot. Yes, we did, because here's the buzz that we saw and picked up for a second. There's buzz. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Did you know Look at that Eagles. Look at that Eagles cassette, man. Frank Sinatra. Did you know that Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola Volume 1 and Coca-Cola. Like, what in the world is on it? Because this is like... DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince and Tina Turner. Wow. Look wow. at that. I didn't know Coca-Cola. 1992. They made mixtapes. We're finding sealed stuff today. New and old. Who would have thought that they'd been mixtapes? I don't know. Oh, there's the second one and it's sealed. Volume 1, 2, and 3. They listened to Volume 3 and they were like, uh, not for me. <laughs> Wait, who do you think's on the third one? 92. Take a guess. Oh, gosh. I couldn't even guess. Elton John, Rod Stewart, Keith Sweat, what are they called? Losers. If it was a few years later, they could have had TLC. I could, I could go for a, a nice new mug. Not any of these. I should get this for my wife. Because she's a super mom. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. Could you imagine getting your letter in the mail letting you know you're going to quiz game, board game, high school? <laughs> uh, no, but look what we just found. We found a box of nostalgia. Literally, we found a box of nostalgia. It is just Star Trek. It's just all Star Trek. Nothing more. 45 bucks for 14 Star Trek VHS. That's actually not a good deal. That's not a good deal at all. But if you're looking for hair color for a dollar, that's also not a good deal. Someone was gonna like be Marge Simpson for Halloween. Justice will be done. We got Quizzard, blue hair dye, pack of nostalgia in one booth. These Lego books are actually pretty cool, man. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I was gonna say, does he still have the mini fig? He's gone. Yeah, that one's gone too. We need to get that uh, Home Alone Lego set and build it, dude. I know. I actually had a friend that secured one. Tommy is on the hunt. What is it again? There's okay, like- so any in the cupboard. I had this original VHS and I wish I still had it today, but you can take the, it, it came with like a little uh, action figure of the little Native American that goes inside. And the pages, ooh, sleeve comes out and is reversible. I don't want to like mess it up. It's reversible and it turns into an actual cupboard. And then there's like a key that came with it that you could use to unlock the VHS. Yep. And I just remember as a kid, that was just like, I don't know. The chances of one still having that are so slim, but I'm convinced we'll find it one day. If you guys find one out in the wild, let me know. I do think it's funny whenever I go to a flea market and I go into a booth and I just see like, a VHS just sitting here. It's like for a dollar. It's, it's like one VHS. Why? You never know what you're gonna get. Hey, you know what? I just saw Forrest go, but at Goodwill, we should get that and put it in our flea market booth for a dollar. <laughs> Great idea, babe. All right, here it is. No lie, my son loves these poppers right now. Look at these, these are humongous. It's huge. Why? I keep thinking about, I haven't done it yet, but I need to make a Christmas, like a Christmas tree, have a Christmas tree in the game room. Put like Nintendo characters on it, movie things. I used to have a Nintendo themed Christmas tree. Did you? Yeah. I should totally do it. Was it was like all like Nintendo stuff. Oh no, guys. Oh no, this is the world we live in. This is a TikTok like little satchel. No, God, please, no, no. no! Oh God. No! Make the madness stop. What's it say? Is that, is that exactly what it is or am I wrong? Am I too old? It's a TikTok purse. No, it's gotta stop. Hey, hey, here we go, here we go. We found some stuff. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got, this is Dracula. I actually had the Genesis game of that. Got a loose game, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Madden, the, the most disgusting copy of Madden 25 that there's ever been. And a Simba. He's cool. Almost, almost something. This is where all those guys get those hats. 
<laughs> Tommy just said, this is where this is where all those guys get those hats. Hey look, look down here, man. We got some 90s figures. Star Trek. God. Miles O'Brien, the Collector Series. Anytime you have to put Collector Series on something, it's not gonna be a collector's item. Odo? Uh-oh. All you Trekkies are about to get onto us. You're not seeing any of those names right, you idiots! The Legend of Zorro. Catherine Taylor Jones was my, she was my girl back in the day. Catherine is that the one that she was in? Is this different? There she is, yeah. She was like, she was like my world back in the day. I loved her, but now I love my wife, and she can get a life. I don't know oh. any of these movies. Tommy, I found your new TV. Look at that Panasonic vintage TV. Do you think it'd be possible to hook a PS5 up to that? That would be actually really fun. Look at those dials. Do that, yeah. You're serious. Here's some VHS. All right, underrated 90s movie, man. Did you like Gone Fishing? Yeah. I loved this movie. Joe Pesci's just anything that he's in. It's a really clean copy too. I don't need it. But. All right, here are some DS games. At one point, I almost bought the Trash Pack. Remember, we were talking about this. Yeah. Trash Pack on 3DS, and then here is Ben 10. Ben 10. Man, there are so many Ben 10 games. But here's—I mean, this is a perfect example. These will probably be here for the next three years, like. Or longer. You gotta, you gotta mark those down to two bucks. Two bucks, I'm all over it. Cents, Five? Bro. No. I have a rule. If a game is two dollars and it's not a sports game and i don't have it i'll get it here's another booth with no vhs except for the little mermaid oh it's five five bones though there's a little lego set uni kitty i don't know what anything is anymore there's tiktok purses there's uni kitty lego sets i don't know what anything Toy Story is. books oh that's actually pretty sweet disney's wonderful world of reading dude look at this it's clean it is clean. It is old. At least it looks old. 1996, guys. This is a this is a legit vintage Toy Story book from 1996. Look at this. Night Thrasher. Guest starring Iron Man. Night Thrasher. Doctor Octopus. 1988. No, that's not Doctor. Is that Doctor? Who is that? Batman Beyond was a cool series. I liked it a lot. So is Night Thrasher. Time to run, the comic. Time to run! <laughs> what in the world? I don't even know what you're even thinking about this. <laughs> what if it's just like pictures of people like, whoa, we gotta run. It's raining. Through the gates of splendor. What, is, what are these? All right, let's see. Ooh, let's see. Classes. Are there? Okay, so, so let's see how much they are. I don't need... I don't need any of the Riddlers. I actually have quite a few of the Riddlers, but right here, ooh, it's four bucks. That's actually a really good price on that. Is that the Flintstones? Comes back up too? Yeah, there's the Flintstones ones, and then here's a Robin for six fifty. Oh, the Robin is actually really hard to get. I don't see the Robin very often at all. It's because it's the coolest one. And then Tommy did spot the Flintstones ones. I and mean, then Shrek, the Shrek cups? They are. they are. Don't need those, but I've been committing some to some friends that that need need the batman ones let me get them i don't i have like five or six riddlers right now how many of these do you have i don't have any but i do recall those dude this is the first digital camera that i ever used in high school it took three and a half inch floppy disks oh wow you did that out. guy were you like every other every other kid and you had either that or you had it in vhs form no we had this the, the and we had the vhs, VHS one that matched it yeah and yeah. underneath it had two slots or whatever Dude, what if they had the Bartman rap the album in here? That would be sick. Cassettes, music cassettes is something I have not dove into. I, I have the have... Space Jam one, but that's really all I have. I have eight. No, that's a lie. I have a couple of the TMNT ones. I collect eight tracks, but only the ones with the good songs that don't suck. This is just an overall good flea market. Like. I just like it. I like, first of all, I like that there's Solid. space. You can walk. A lot of them are like super congested. This one, this one is not like that. Got some model cars over here. I think these are some vintage Barney books right here. Look at that. 
Barney Christmas surprise. Let's see. Let's see if we can't get a year on this guy. 1996. We were right. Barney Christmas surprise, and then Barney's wishes. Whoa. What? It better be cool, Tommy. He got excited about something. Atari Pong? Whoa! Dude, that this is, is the so coolest cool. thing ever. I love I love how it looks. Atari Pong vintage game, no power cord, as is 27 look, bucks. Look at it. Just look at that thing. I'm looking at it. I love the font. Dude, it's I, Pong. Okay, I will say this. In all of my times of hunting, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that. I mean, and the thing is, is like, this is the video cable. Okay. So, so all you need is power. power. So they, and, and usually people say this because they, you know, you can't test it. They don't have a power supply. I said we give that a go, man. Let's Patent. Just, let's just try it. The time to buy something is when you see it, Tommy. When I see it? Let's go better look at it again. I want to see it again. Whoa, what is that thing down there? That's what I'm looking at. It looks like it's one of those old slide projection things. Old, cool old, old tech. What's the brand on it, you say? Argus. Yeah, Master Control Panel. National Pins Christmas Vacation. And he gets locked in the attic and he's up there watching home movies and he's all crying. What's crazy about that Pong thing is you like found it hidden back there. It was like no one was ever gonna see that. Next to this soda pop tab purse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tommy, it's all cool because it's old and like, like this is the beginning of video games. This is why this is cool. This is where video games originated was Atari Pong. And we just found, Atari Pong. we just found it. All right, there's some good games right here. Red Faction 2, Tommy. It's a great game. Come on, be a decent price. Be a decent price. 399, let's go. Dude, there's another cool Wait, one. Wait, Demon Stone. This game is actually look great. Look at that. If you like any of the Dungeons and Dragons stuff, this is the Forgotten Realms. All right, setting. well, look at this. We found Demon Stone on PS2. Let's see if it's got, got, the, got Dungeon the game in there. Red Faction 2 actually feels complete. I remember playing this game. It's probably not worth much, but. Dude, we just found, we have found, we have found all the gaming stuff today. Think about it, Tommy. The original Pong, oh. all the way to sealed PS4 games and the PS5 Accessory holder. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. What's happening, dude? I'm so pumped about these too. There's stuff out there. You just gotta find it, dude. 2021. I, I mean, and we just skipped over these just because. I mean, I don't really know why, but my city's always cool. Corvette. Three different. You know what Sid the Science Kid is? Is that is it the I've name? I've seen it. It's like a uh, one of those PBS. That's yeah, it. PBS Kids. I wish those comics were still here. It'll be fun yeah. to go through those again. All right, guys, we picked up a ton of stuff. This is one of those situations where it's like, it wasn't like a great stop. And then at the end, we found so much freaking good stuff. What is this flea market strikes again. Every time we go to this market, we always, we always walk out with a ton of stuff. So the first thing we got is this Dilbert candy dispenser. Now, I actually loved the Dilbert uh, comic strip back in the day. Uh, I didn't like read a ton of comics, but Dilbert was one of them uh, that I read. And then there was also a show that I think had like 20 to 30 episodes, not a ton, not a ton of episodes, but but this is a really rad uh, candy dispenser, electronic candy dispenser. I don't know if it works or not, but this was a really cool first piece to get. Next up was a sealed PS4 game. Now, I don't know if I've ever seen a sealed PS4 game out in the wild, but today was a different day. They actually had a couple different games. This was the only one that looked interesting to me. It's called PixArt, and it's got like pixelated type graphics, but they're still 3D, kind of like Minecrafty. Um, and this was like, I think 10 bucks or, or under. So uh, pretty cheap. And I thought, you know, seeing a PS4 game sealed at the flea market, it had to have been at least a decent deal. It might be worth about that, but still to find a sealed PS4 game was wild. Next up is this vintage. Toy Story book. Y'all, it's vibrant. It looks amazing. 1996 uh, is when this was published. And man, this is pretty rad. I love Toy Story. My son loves Toy Story. And we also read books every single night before he goes to bed. So I had to pick up a vintage Toy Story book for him. Next up, yet again, are more Batman Forever glasses. Now, I have a ton of the Riddler glasses. I think I have like, like 10 of those, but I actually don't see these two as often. You got Two-Face and you got Robin, and I'm always on the lookout for these uh, to basically make sets, to get all four of them and sell them off uh, as a set. So to find these was pretty cool. These are in really good shape. You got Two-Face there and you got Robin, and these will be great to add uh, to make more sets. Next up, we got two great 
PS2 games. Now I will say lately at flea markets, I'm just not finding retro games very often. They're usually sports games, they're usually shovelware, but to see two great PS2 games and they're in great condition, complete, and for four bucks each, we had to get these. So we got Demon Stone uh, and we got Red Faction 2, two amazing games to get, uh, you know, for again, eight bucks for both of those. And lastly, the big item was this, guys. Atari Pong. I could not believe we found this. This was like tucked up underneath the shelf. I don't know how Tommy saw it, but he was like, dude, Rick, come over here. You got to see, you got to see this. Now, most people, generally speaking, say that Pong is the first video game. If you say, what's the first video game that was ever made? Most people say Pong. If you don't know what Pong is because you're too young or you just never heard of it, basically it's just a ball that goes back and forth and, and, and you're, you're basically hitting the ball back and forth to each other. That's it. Pretty primitive, but this is where video games started. We found uh, we found video game history at the flea market. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. I didn't even know they made a like Atari branded Pong console. Like this is this is a console. You would hook this up to your TV, and this would be uh, your video game console. So I actually did find a video on YouTube of, of a guy playing this. And what you would do is somebody would literally sit on this side and use this one, and then the other person, player two, would use this. You would use the actual console to play your video game. Can you imagine using your PS5, like literally using the console to play the video game? This is this is absolutely crazy. So I think the cheapest one on eBay that sold was 150 for parts, like untested 150. So this was a great deal to pick this up. And I knew just like the aesthetic of it. I was like, dude, I've got to have this thing. This, this thing is going to look beautiful on the shelf. So obviously an amazing stop at this flea market. We found PS2 games. We found video game history, uh, PS4 sealed game, like the full spectrum of vintage, you know, the beginning of time uh, in terms of video games all the way to sealed PS4, which was pretty wild. The Batman forever glasses uh, obviously guys this is the this is the coolest thing uh, at least in my opinion this was the coolest thing that we found or that we saw but you guys tell me down below what was your favorite thing that we saw or picked up in today's episode as always thank you guys for hanging out for watching the video uh, i actually have another video from this flea market if you want to go check it out uh, i'll link it right up here but as always thank you guys for hanging out like the video if you do enjoy the retro hunting series subscribe if you have not already and until next time peace